Now today, we're going to make a flower. Who loves flowers? I love flowers. Now, we're gonna get a red balloon. You can use any color you like. Red is pretty cool. I hope you're having a fun day. I'm having a fun day. So I'm gonna pump it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit. Until I've got only a little bit left there. And I'm gonna tie it off and I'm gonna burp it a little bit. That's called a burp. Tie it around my fingers. Tie it all up. Now we're gonna squash it out. Make it soft, because that's good. You make it soft. Then, you can even fold it over and make it soft. You fill your balloon up like that. Now we're going to take both ends of our balloon and we're going to tie them together. Just like this. It's a bit tricky, but you can do it. Tie them together. Now when we've tied it together, we then go like this. Hello. Okay. Hold the ends like that where the knot is, that's very important. So hold the knot at the side and then hold the other side and pull it out and push it in together. See what I did? So we've got equal parts and then we're going to twist it. Then we have, it's like infinity or number eight or a toilet seat. It's like a, it's like a toilet seat, doesn't it? Then, we're gonna fold those together. That, but not at the side. And push it in again. So it looks like that. All right, show you again. Push it in, and then twist it. You have to do it once or twice. So you have that. You've got a beautiful flower head. Wow. Now I'm going to put that down because now we're going to make the stem. Stretch it out. This is a really cool flower. It's a really big flower too. Great for mums. Stretch it out. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four, Depends on how big people are in sometimes. So we'll leave about, at the end, about that much. And then we'll burp it. Stretch around our fingers, tie the knot. Now we have to soften it out again, like you do. We do that so it doesn't pop and we can do lots of twists. Okay. Now this is the tricky part. You can do it two ways. You can either put it straight through if you get a bit nervous and you don't know how to do it properly and you're at a party. And you can just do it that way. Put it in there like that and put it underneath so it looks like that, which is pretty cool. Or what I like to do is to do a special twist. So you put your thumb in there like that. So have a go at this, it's a lot of fun. Put your thumb in there, or your finger, it doesn't matter. Then you have to feel for the knot inside. Grab the knot, looks like that. And then you need to twist behind the knot. And it looks like that, which is really cool. And then you put it in the middle of the flower and bring the tail. Oops, come undone. That's what happens sometimes. Do it one more time. And we'll put it in the middle of our flower. It's a daisy. Straighten up our petals. 
so you can see properly. In the middle of our flour, and then put it underneath so it sits there beautifully like that. It looks very beautiful, doesn't it? Now, with our tail here, we're going to do an S shape, so we're going to go for a Z shape. It's already a shape, couldn't it? Now in the middle, or there, in the middle, we're going to pinch it. This is when, when your balloon's soft, it's pretty good because it won't pop. Then we're going to twist it like that. Hopefully it won't pop. <laughs> like that. And there you have your balloon flower with your balloon petals looking beautiful just like that how beautiful is that i hope you had fun if you did like and subscribe and put comments below of what you'd like me to make as well you have a lovely day have a funny day